What's up, y'all? This your boy, Big Dog Talk Sports. Salute to everybody, all the subscribers, everybody hitting that like button, the notification bell, leaving comments. Whether we agree or we disagree, shout out to y'all. We appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Shout out to the whole team. This is Clutch World Order News, episode one. All right, y'all, so we know Tristan Thompson. Uh, his name been put into some PED allegations. You know. Tristan Thompson, NBA player, power forward. You know, your NBA champion. Uh, when he was at his best, you know, he was a defender, rebounder. He wasn't like a great player, but, you know, he was a good player to have on your team when he was at his best, you know. You know, he's not, you know, he's, you know, he's in the twilight of his career right now. And he got hit with a 25-game suspension for NBA's anti-drug program, uh, violating it, the um, NBA anti-drug program. I mean, you know, it's kind of wild because, you know, like, I ain't even trying to be funny. It's kind of wild that he's taking, um, allegedly, allegedly, um, he's taking PEDs or whatever it is he's taking, allegedly, growth, growth hormones, and he's not even, you know, that good. When I say that good, I'm not talking about to the, to the average man. I'm talking about, you know, to the NBA players, he's not really a great player. This is my thing, right? They're talking about it on the news. Like, you see it, like, you go on the internet, you'll see it, but I don't see that much coverage about it. Now, I understand Tristan Thompson is not a mega star in the NBA, but they don't really, it's not really hitting mainstream media like that. Am I wrong? I mean, educate me if I'm wrong. You know, I don't want to. And uh, Tristan Thompson, I'm not sure if he still is, but I'm pretty sure at some point he was a Clutch Sports client. And if not, him and LeBron James are good friends, right? And he's not the first person that's in the LeBron James circle whose name been involved in this type of, you know, stuff when it comes to, you know, the growth hormones and PDs and stuff like that. Hell, LeBron James himself, his name um, has been involved in this stuff, but the stuff kind of get kept quiet. Now, I know Tristan Thompson, he suspended 25 games, I believe. I get that, but it's kind of weird how the people that surround you know, LeBron You know, they get caught up in the PEDs, but when LeBron James' name got mentioned in this type of stuff, it got swept under the rug. Like, it was just like, nope, never happened. I mean, we do call it the La Media for a reason, right? You know, Rich Paul, I'm pretty sure he makes a couple phone calls. They don't say this, don't say that. Go keep it under wraps. And... You know, LeBron James, you know, him and Rich Paul, their names been mentioned. I'm not saying they did it, but their names have been mentioned uh, with this type of stuff. You know, as far as I remember, since 2011 or 2013, um, like down there in Miami. But they swept under the rug. They never really talked about it. And you know what's funny? You know, it's funny. I remember back in the day when uh, Max Kellerman was on first take, around when he first started, if I'm not mistaken, uh, being on the first take with Stephen A. Smith. And Max Kellerman used to kind of hint 
at LeBron James um, using uh, PEDs. He used to slick say, you know, certain things. Now, I really wish I could find like old clips on YouTube from Max Kellerman back then, but I wouldn't know how to search that to be honest with you, because it wasn't like a main topic or nothing. He, but he would just throw little little hints every now and then, you know. You see it on his face, like, you know, this is not exactly what he said because I can't remember. But he'll say something like, well, you know, Brian, he, you know, he paid one and a half million dollars, you know, every summer on his body. And, you know, them trips to Miami, uh, that juice is serious. Now, I, you know what I'm saying? It's not what he said, but it's kind of stuff he'll say. He'll say a little slick stuff like that to where, you know, you're thinking like, okay, he's trying to say LeBron James down there, you know, getting the juice. You know what I mean? You know, uh, Shell Sonnen, you know. ESPN, um, he mentioned LeBron James. He said, uh, you know, me and LeBron James got the same dealer. And he, he was on, he's an ESPN guy. And it wasn't question or nothing. They just sounded about it. Now, I don't want LeBron James and, you know, Tristan Thompson, he's suspended, you know, or whoever else. I don't want any player, any athlete accused of doing this type of stuff to be treated as they're guilty without being proven that they're guilty. But it's funny when, you know, okay, LeBron James, the king of clutch, his name is get men his name get mentioned in this type of stuff. It goes under wraps. Nah man, he ain't never do that. But then when the people around him gets mentioned this type of stuff, nobody's thinking like, well, you know, is it possible birds of a feather? Now, just because Tristan uh, Thompson do it, that don't mean LeBron do it. So, relax. But I just feel like, you know, I remember Barry Bonds. When Barry Bonds was going through his situation, they was going at Barry Bonds hard. You know, he don't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, looking at Barry Bonds and pause how big he got over the years in his career you know it was suspect you know but I'm one of the people like if it's not proven man it ain't happening you know and at the time with no proof for Barry Bond now I'm not even sure if they actually found proof later on maybe they have but I remember at that time it wasn't proven because he was still playing at one point you know it wasn't proven he did it at one point in time but you know, they would talk about it like, you know, they know for a fact he did it. And he don't even be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care how many home runs he win. Right? But when it comes to LeBron James, I feel like they don't even want to mention it. Like I said, don't don't say he's guilty because he don't know. But, like, come on, man. We ain't going to act like there ain't some suspect things going on. Let's talk about that trip to Miami he did when he's with the Cavaliers back in 2015, 2016, when he left the team for two weeks. Y'all, y'all remember when LeBron first back went, went back to Cleveland? He was skinny. He didn't really have no lift. But then he went down to Miami for a couple weeks and came back, dude was big as the juggernaut. Y'all remember that? He was jumping like high as the sky, man. He was jumping through the roof like. It like I was happy to see LeBron James, you know, come back and be himself. But it was like, eh. after you see his name involved in that uh, biogenesis stuff, allegedly down in Miami with Rich Paul and I believe with Jameer Nelson, Dwayne Wade, and some other people, it's kind of like it's look kind of shaky. This don't prove nothing, but it looks kind of, eh. you know. You know, LeBron James have an injury that... Well, didn't they say he had an injury? Um, Was it last season? I think it was last season. It supposed to have been damn near a season in the injury or something. Then all of a sudden, they told me he got... <laughs> they said he had some special healing properties. I said, oh, damn, he Wolverine. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Am I bugging? Cause remember he went to the Super Bowl and he supposed to have the injured ankle or foot or whatever it was. And it was like supposed to be really, really bad. And 
The next thing you know, they say he has some special healing properties. And, like, he Wolverine, bro. And now, I know a lot of people say, man, for LeBron to be doing what he's doing at 39, he got to be doing PEDs. Look, a man could be athletic and be in tip-top shape. And, you know, it's possible to do that without the extracurriculars, right? Because I honestly don't want to believe LeBron James is doing that. Like, even though he's not my favorite player, even though the media and the clutch world order, they can give him your damn nerves. I honestly, I'm hoping that LeBron James' career, well, it's kind of hard to say, because I know the NBA do things to try to help boost his career. I, but, but at least with him being on the court, I at least want that to be honest. Now, the referees and all that, I'm not, I, we know what time it is. But when I'm talking about like him, like really, really cheating the game as far as taking possibly PEDs or whatever, human growth, whatever, I hope that's not the case, man. Even though I'm not really the biggest LeBron fan, I hope that's not the case. I really hope that he's on the court and doing it at least cleanly. You know what I mean? Now, I know they cheating and all that. I know the, the refs help, the NBA helping them and all that. But as far as that, I hope he's not doing that. Now, I really, really hope he's not. I really hope he's on the court, he's doing his thing, and he's not, you know, doing the extracurriculars, you know? But it's just funny, man. People surrounded LeBron James is names involved in this, but you got the La Media who act like he shouldn't even be mentioned. And it's just fishy. It's just really fishy. I feel like if it was anybody else, they would, you know, you know, let, let it be Aaron Rodgers. I know he's NFL, not NBA. But let it be Aaron Rodgers. If people in Aaron Rodgers' circle was caught for this type of stuff, you think they're not going to question Aaron Rodgers? Come on, man. Aaron Rodgers probably not. He probably ain't even smoke a joint in his life. You know, and LeBron probably haven't either. Like I said, I don't know if LeBron doing anything. But to, for them not to even mention LeBron James, especially with allegations and since 2013, they just swept under the rug. It, it feel like the clutch world order in the media is, at, is working. They working. They working, man. They working. Um, we're going to see how it goes, man. Let's see if anybody else in LeBron James' circle. And um, who was it? Uh, I'm about to look it up real quick while I'm talking to y'all. Um, was it LeBron James trainer or something? Who was it that got caught, man? Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm gonna read this. It said, uh, trainer David Alexander, who worked with James during his time with the Miami Heat and Cleveland Cavaliers, and James' longtime friend and business associate, Ernest Randy Mims, were both named as having received illegal performance enhancing drugs. It was back in September 13, 2023. Yeah, that's back when Keyshawn Johnson was lying, saying he ain't know Randy Mims, and then admitting he knew the dude like two minutes later all right, on uh, <laughs> Undisputed. But yeah, man, it just, it's just funny, man. A lot of people surrounding LeBron is doing this. And like I said, it don't mean LeBron is doing it himself. This proves nothing. But y'all can't tell me if this was Aaron Rodgers, hell, say Kyrie Irving, you know, the people who the sports media don't like. You can't tell me that if they name was affiliated with all these people who's been involved in this stuff, that they wouldn't question it. But when it comes to LeBron James, they sweep it all under the rug. Just tell me what y'all thoughts in the comment section. Clutch World Order News. Big Dog Talk Sports is out, man. I'm out.